Hello and welcome back. So if you saw my last tutorial, you already seen how to draw this stuff and this is on how to draw the basic shape and use guidelines the correct way for faces. Uh, I really hope you learned a little bit there and you practiced and now we can move on to eyes. Okay, so before we start, let's take a look at a more realistic eye. Now this is not a perfect and realistic eye kind of thing, it's just really simplified but it is more realistic than, for example, this. So we're gonna go off of this and see what we can do at a manga. Now I just want to draw out a little bit, zooming out what I drew before, so the guidelines. We have the side of the circle right here, and we have our red uh, cross right here going down. And then, as I said, we want to go in the middle of that, and this is where we draw our the middle of our eye. You just have your eye like this, and we're just gonna draw something a little more simple. First of all, we're gonna try and draw, take this into manga. So we draw a circle around our middle part, and then this part right here is going to come completely away. So this little um, eye corner thing in the middle here we're not gonna draw this. In most manga this is not made and it does look a little bit weird when someone does it so we're just gonna get rid of it, nothing there. So let's just start with this top part right here. Now there's many ways to do this but as I said I'm gonna try and make the realistic eye into manga, really simply. We just draw an arch on the top, so we just have an arch right here now and then we want to draw the bottom part which is also a little bit arched right there. So we basically have this part and this part drawn out. Now the light source is something in manga that can vary too, but most people just draw a circle. Always remember that this little light source is going to be on the same side of the other eye, so right here, and not on the on this the opposite. So our light is basically coming from right here. So these two, it doesn't look bad on itself right now. So if you want to start out really easily, this is something you can do. However, uh, I'd say we do a little bit more so I can show you what you can do. Now these two parts, if we would, if we were to meet them on the line, it would look really weird. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna drag this down and this up and not connect it though. So the part that was here before, this right here, is now up here. We took it from the right line and we took it up here. This opens the eye and makes it look a little bit bigger and cuter too. Then we have our little eye right here. Really simple. The inside of the eye can vary from so many different things, but probably the best is if you just draw this. Now, we have a girl eye right now. So we're going to draw some lashes. There's different ways to do this. You can draw um, a little bit like this and just draw this out. And then this is your lashes. Boom, done. A lot of mangas do this. I think Pokemon did it or Ranma, I'm not sure. However, we want to make it a little bit better and, and more in detail. So we're going to draw out some lashes. Now, as you can see on our picture right here, there's lots of different lashes going all different ways and crisscrossing. Here's a no-go. Do not draw your lashes like this. It doesn't look natural. Lashes are like this. Okay? This is all things you can learn by just looking into the mirror or looking at other people. However, if you're gonna look at other people for hours and staring into their eyes, it's gonna be a little bit weird, so you might want to go with the mirror method. Okay, and then we just draw arches. A little bit arched, like this. Really nice. And on the bottom we do the same, but going like this. So what we have here is kind of like that. We want to do them like this. Okay, and we just go down. Now the top lashes are longer than the bottom lashes, and the lashes that go into the middle part are shorter than the ones that go out. This is really simple, you can make them a little bit thicker, but I wouldn't go too much. So you just want to draw a little bit thicker maybe, if you do want to do that. 
that's the kind of style that I'm going for when I'm drawing. Okay, and then we can move on to our little eyelid right here, which is really simple. Um, there's many different ways, but the best one that makes it look less weird is just do this. And that's enough. And then you can draw your eyebrow, and the easiest thing to do is just draw a line. Now the eyebrow isn't perfectly straight, obviously, so you want to draw it a little bit arched as it is here. So we want to draw a little arch right here. Great. And there you have your eye. And all of this is just going to be shaded in by your coloring or you can leave it like this. It's perfectly good like that. And there you have a basic smaller female eye. Now we're going to go move on to cuter kid's eye or uh, you can say a shoujo eye. So I'm going to draw my guideline zoomed in again and we're gonna find the point right here. Now this was a circle as we did here but this time we're gonna do an oval. So we still have our center of this and we draw a little oval here. Maybe that helps drawing that first and then we draw one around that. Now before I go on with this I have to say that this method of drawing eyes is really not popular anymore. You don't really see this as much. It was done um, more back in the day in the 90s, early 2000s where people would draw big oval eyes. But uh, I do think that it has decreased a lot and not a lot of people draw these anymore because also it's not really popular to draw it and it does make your manga look a lot like it's only for girls. So if you are into that and you love Sailor Moon or something and you want your manga to look like it's only for girls then maybe this is the way to go. Who knows? Most people will use this method for kids or for little girls, cute girls, whatever. To make the eyes even bigger. So we're gonna draw a light source again on this side. And this can also vary if you draw big eyes. Okay, let's say we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're not gonna do a circle. We're gonna do an oval in the oval. Right here. Um, this black thing in your eye needs to be oval too if your shape around it is oval. So you just wanna do that real quick. And always clean up your sketch so it doesn't look weird. Not too much though. We wanna be able to see it's a sketch. So now we have this down. We wanna do our little arch up here and our arch down there. Now, most people, when they draw big eyes like this, not like this one, it's not gonna be connected. So we're not gonna connect our line here. We're just gonna draw it like this. Now here's a very important part. In this, it looks like it's in the center of the eye. And this part, if we would have drawn out this, it would have been in the center of the eye itself. However, right now what we're doing is we are going to put it here a lot more space than here. If I were to draw this out all done with the arch I did, it wouldn't be in the center of the eye. So we just want to draw it a little bit like that and we want to draw it out and go all the way down to our red line and drag it down like this. So we're going to do a little bit of a, of a point here as we did here, so just so it's, it's a little bit of the same stuff here. And then you want to go like that and connect this to the bottom part. So the top part may not be connected, but the bottom part should, or else your character's gonna look like it's surprised or shocked. Now you can thicken these lines a little bit to make it look a little bit better. Not just, don't just draw one stroke, it looks a little bit weird. Okay, so now we have our shape right here and our little pupil and everything. And then we want to draw eyelashes. Now these are a little bit longer and a little bit more rounded because they are, or a little bit more of them too, because it's a little cuter, you know? So we're gonna thicken these a little bit. Always make them pointy at the end or it looks really weird. Okay, so now we have this right here. We want to draw our eyelid crease right here. Now as we did here, it's really simple. You just do a little line here. Don't do it too far away 
you can draw this a little bit closer too if you want to and then you want to draw your little eyebrow the eyebrow stays the same there's not really a lot that changes just a basic eyebrow and there you have your eye now we're gonna move on to man's eyes now as I said a lot of people do these eyes also for kids and if you do want to do this for a kid that is a guy then just to show a little bit better then you might want to get rid of the eyelashes however it should stay the same so this is just gonna be the kids eye and over here I'm gonna do the same thing again and we're gonna draw a grown man's eye pretty much so I'm finding my center again and I'm going to draw a circle again if you do draw eyes like this for girls you might want to draw these circles of this eye a little bit bigger than the ones for the men as you can see this is bigger than this so the man's eye is gonna be a little bit smaller and then you want to draw in your thing like that I made a huge mess so I clean it up if you want him to be serious, that's a different thing. You have serious guys or you have a little more happy bubbly guys. So right now what we're doing is we're gonna draw the arch again. Now with the men's eye, it's a little bit different. We're gonna go way more out and all over it. So everything is way longer than this one. This is short and curvy and this is long and more of a flat shape. Not completely flat, but a little more flat than this one. And then you want to do the same on the bottom, almost flat. Not flat, but almost. And then you can go ahead again and do your arch. No need for one on the bottom, it already connects. Remember that this right here should not be too thick on the bottom or else it will look really weird. So when you're drawing your little thing right here, this should be super thin. There we have it. This is our arch and our eye shape. This is already it. So as I said, you can draw in just a round shape here or you can decide right now and make it a little more cooler looking by connecting it like this. So instead of having it normally eye opening, it looks a little bit like he has his eyes a little bit closed and it looks a little bit more cool. So there you have your eye. Then we want to draw in the light source, which may be a little bit smaller than in a girl's eye. And then, since the eye is also smaller, I guess, and then when you draw in your your line, which may be a little bit longer than the girl's line here, and then you draw your eyebrows. Now the eyebrows can stay the same as they were and just draw a line, or you can make it a little bit cooler and just make them a little thicker in the beginning, leaving a straight line here, so not, not thicken this, but thicken this here, as you can see. And there you have a man's eye. Now for all of these, the light source comes from up here, and if you want to draw it from other where, you want to draw the circle on the other side or on the bottom, etc. This is just a really basic thing to train on. Nothing special or very pretty or anything, but this is something you can draw and then go off to your own drawing style. Okay guys, so this is it for today's lesson. I really hope you found this helpful. If so, um, and you do decide to try these out, then I'd be really happy if you tag me on Instagram and your results. I'd be happy to see them. Subscribe for more tutorials, and uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye!